and welcome to yet another episode of Safari Studios. On this gorgeous Safari Sunday, we are going to go and we're going to look at some Canadian geese. Ladies and gentlemen, so we are off to the RC Willy to get a chest of drawers. After that, we're going to show you some incredible Canadian geese. Um, it's going to be super nice. Um, and I'm very, very excited about all of this. Before it's closed on Sundays, we are going to go to Walmart. Noah's getting us some directions to going to Walmart. We need to turn around. So now we are going into the Walmart, which is thankfully open. It's open 24 hours a day. Um, this is a very boring video. You want to do when figuring out which dresser is right for you is um, figuring out exactly how much space you need. Now I'm thinking this one looks really good. This four drawer chest, it's a good price too. Um, but then we've got this four drawer dresser which might be a little bit bigger. I'm not completely sure, but you can select it in different finishes. Oh, but these are all, oh, no, never mind. Um, and then this one up here, you see it fools you into thinking there's more drawers, but this is actually just one drawer, which is not ideal. So I think we're gonna go with this one right here. <laughs> kind of ugly. <laughs> Stuff. We'll probably buy a house here. We should get some pillows too. Let's get a deed for a house. Oh my god, yeah, I'm down. Okay, let's let's get the box for this for this chest okay. of drawers. I think four will be Wait, enough. This one? Yeah, I like this. Where is this? This is small. Oh, I'm a little bit That's worried. That's because you have to it. put it together, Abigail. Oh god, we have to put this yes, together. That's oh jeez, we're gonna vlog that, it's you not guys. It's small. It's big. Yeah. Go push thing. Yeah. Yeah. Where can we get them? Probably in the front. Ooh, no, look, Hulk hands. Alright, that's cool. Uh, let's... Oh, we gotta put the camera away because Walmart employees get all bent out of shape if you're filming yeah. in the store. Alright. Okay. Ooh, that's long. Oh. Is it gonna... I don't know if it's gonna... You gotta, like, kick it. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Perfect! Alright. You should've filmed that. I did. Oh, you did. You did. <laughs> what? Oh. Two-face, so we're gonna go in. I think it's on this way. No, I'll put the here. We have a fantastic selection of here. We're looking for the crest whitening because we want white teeth. I know we need travel size to be fine. Yeah. I like, like, you know about the crest white stuff? It's not really small. Do you think this is stuff done It's just like, oh, free white right here. Yes. Thank you for coming to Walmart with us. Now we'll show you some Canadian geese. Unlock it from the other side. We're unlocking crest. We need all the doors unlocked. Uh, from the other side. Oh. <laughs> when unlocking a car, you want to make sure that you're unlocking it from the right side. If you don't have one of those fancy electronic gadgets, Lift, when you deadlift, you lift with your back. So if you deadlift regularly, then you won't hurt your back when you're lifting stuff like that, basically. Billboard up here, and it says dining set for $3.99, which is great value. RC Wiley. RC Wiley. Well. It's yeah, close. it's closed today, though. It's closed. But sponsor me, RC Willy. Wait, where'd it go? They're in. Is that going in? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's fine. You embarrassing yourself? <laughs> I'm a great dancer. <laughs> means Nevada. Nevada vegan. We're not putting that in. Canadian geese are an incredible type of animal. Um, what they what they are? They're similar to regular geese, except they're normally not as aggressive unless they live on a golf course. If they live on a golf course or a college campus, they're incredibly aggressive. It's because of the grass or something like that. It's one of the chemicals in the grass that they use in fertilizers that make these geese super, super aggressive. So hopefully these ones that we see today won't be as aggressive, but hopefully they'll still be tame enough that we can get up close to them. You gotta get closer to the car so I can film. Uh, hopefully don't get mad at me. Actually, I shouldn't be, should I not be showing the license plate number? I feel like that. That's not, I, I think that's a custom license plate. It's not right. <laughs> with Safari Studios, we've actually moved to a new place and I'm going to be vlogging my first 30 days, my first 30 days of senior year at a new school and it's going to be pretty cool. So tune in for that. There'll be videos every week. Wish me luck. Noah is going back to university. He's He doesn't have to worry about moving. We see geese. These are some Canadian geese right there. There's some more of the boys. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn into one of these neighborhoods and then we're going to go walk and try and find the geese. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited. Bro. Go and 
let's find some Canadian geese. Also, I don't think that any of these houses are moved it's into. So quiet. So yeah. if we want to, we can go in some of these houses, which I really like to do. Do you hear how quiet it is? Like, shh. Well, there's a car coming down the road now. Dude. It's <laughs> really quiet. Geese when they're not migrating, because um, these ones these ones are here for I think the summertime or the wintertime. I'm not sure if they've already flown in or not. Um, but they are they're chilling here, and they are always in this spot. We've we've drove past here quite a few times, and without fail, there's a flock of Canadian geese on this side of the road. There's a flock of Canadian geese on this side of the road. Um, and I'm really excited to show you them. We've never really been get, able to get close to them, but uh, hopefully today we will. And I can tell you a little bit about these incredible there animals. They are. You can see them. Oh yeah, there they are. I don't Way think you can distance. see them on the camera, yeah, yeah. There's geese poop coming up here, which is why you can tell, look, look, there's the men. He's thinking about crossing the street to join some of the other men right over there. These guys are so cool. Just such amazing, amazing animals. All right, so Canadian geese, they are geese specifically from Canada. Their scientific name is Geeses canadius, which basically means Canadian geese. Um, and they are so cool. Here they are. They've got specific markings that are different from regular American geese. And they are not domesticated as some American geese are. However, sometimes these accept with flocks of chickens or something like that in order to guard the flock of chickens. It's like I said, if they're around certain fertilizer, they go kind of poopy. Now, they eat grass, mostly. They eat grass and they eat little fish. Uh, and look at them go. They are equally capable and landed in the water, but they're more capable in the water than they are in the air. Look at them all. There they go. I don't want them to cross the road. I'm kind of nervous. I don't want a car to come by. And whack them. Look at them. There's some incredible men. Um, and then, so these guys are migratory birds. They are almost never not traveling. They stay in a place for about two weeks, then they keep flying, which is really a testament to how, just like how cool these guys are. Look, they're all forming up together. They're all coming together if they perceive us as a threat, which is too bad because I don't want them to be scared of us. that they're making that's actually a pretty sophisticated communication device um the whoop noise that one's basically just like formed together and as you can see they're all coming across the road and they're all getting together they're all reforming up around here obviously they can get some food from in there they live in there um and i think this is a mixture of male and females the males are just a little bit larger than the females but in any way they are very 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 cool birds the rest of them are just chilling. Oh, it's so cool. Look at them. I think that they might be going down into the water. And oh, in, over here in the water, you can actually see they've, they've got a white heron over there. Uh, you see them? There they go, yeah. They go, yeah, yeah. So they're a little bit clumsy flyers for how often they travel. But that's okay because they make up for it with just exceptional grace in the water and walking around on land. They're much more adapted to land than ducks are and that kind of thing. But look at them in the water. They are just gorgeous. Gorgeous, Something gorgeous, gorgeous. It's an incredible animal. Um, we're going to leave these guys alone because they appear not to really like us. And I don't want to scare them. But um, they are so, so, so cool. And they're actually a symbol of Canada. But in recent times, they've also become a symbol of fall because of their migration patterns. Um, they are just, they're an incredible bird. It's so different from most other geese, which will attack you. They're just really, really nice, really awesome. And just exceptional in the water and in the air. As you can see from those men right over there. Look at him go. So much for joining on Safari Saturday. Thanks for joining next week. We might do something else. Like, subscribe, follow. Let me know. What